So the grief vampire, Thomas John, had a gig he was doing in Minneapolis at the Roxy's Cabaret. It's a venue that does a lot of drag shows and lots of other kinds of activities. It looks really amazing. Let me show you what the place looks like. I tell you, it, I think it looks like it might be kind of fun to go hang out there. Here it is. And Roxy's, um, was he was doing these shows and they were called Drag Me to the Other Side, which is quite clever, isn't it? Let me show you the events. This, this was happening in October of 2023. So I'm recording this in November of 2023. And so what they would do is he would contact the dead. I don't know if he did it in drag or if he did it just in his normal persona. But um, what he would do is he would post, just like all of his events that he does, is he is trying to hot read people. So the easiest way of doing that is you post on Facebook or wherever and you say, who's coming to my event? And then people will post underneath saying, I will be there on this day. And so now he can click on their Facebook profile, get their information. And he'd be able to just, you know, hot read them whenever they get there. Or, you know, whenever they buy their tickets, he has their name and their credit card. Uh, at least the last four digits of the credit card and some information about the person. They're located probably somewhere near Minneapolis. Um, so it's not that hard to find somebody. You get 50 people who show up, you do five readings something like that, 10%. Um, it looks like there were $35, two drink minimum or food purchase required. That's that's pretty conservative. And if you look at these, now here's, this is a Facebook page that has um, dragged me to the other side in the search results for his Thomas John Celebrity Medium. So obviously I'm only looking at Facebook. Some of these are pretty fun. Uh, now, of course, we all, when you're going to be doing an event, you would say, join me in this event I'm doing, you know, come and see me at this event and who's going to be showing up. Nothing wrong with that. Everybody does that. It's just, we're trying to get people to come to whatever show, event, lecture, whatever we're in. And that's fine. But what it is, is that he uses, um, he puts these up and then he gets these comments. And then whenever people do comment saying they're going to be there, then, like I said, all he has to do is click on one of these these posts right here and he's on their Facebook page. So like this person says, Kirsten and I are going to the Saturday, um, the fifth show. Is anybody else going to join us? She's tagged somebody else. And so all you got to do is click on her name and boom, you're right on her uh, Facebook page, get some personal information. Then on that day, you know, you just repeat it back as if it's it's a new um, we've been watching him do this for years. Um, one of these, here's another one. They're talking about Alabama. When are you going to be in Alabama? Will you be coming to LA? Um, are you coming to the UK? Is Canada in your future? And so on. So this is pretty common for him. Here's here's another one where he's excited to be showing up in a couple weeks. That's so amazing. They say. Ah, Ella Lee, I'm trying to get a refund from you for a canceled reading. After months of waiting, I haven't received anything yet. Please help. Well, nobody's, nobody's banned her, so that's interesting. Um, are people even checking these things? I don't know. Anyway, um, so this is what he was doing. Now, somebody, one of my, one of my sharp-eyed members of my Gorilla Skeptics team, noticed that somebody had posted on their Facebook page, which is public, a post. Let me show you what this looks like. I've only grayed out his last name. I'm not graying out his photos. It's all public. I mean, you could find it just by looking. It's still there. So here's Wayne. He's at the Roxy's Cabaret. I'm here to see Thomas Strawn drag me to the other side this should be interesting and so one of the things they do is since he's tagging roxy's that's another way of allowing the medium to know who's at the event so it's another way of finding out who's going to be there 
update. So he wrote this the first time and then now he's updated. Oh my gosh, my parents came through, had me bawling with tears of joy. I'm a believer of spirits coming through 1111 and cardinals are my signs. Thomas came to our table and spoke of my parents, our dog Parker, Thomas and my mother, Joanne, and this was over the top and out of this world. Okay. Everybody who's been following this channel for a while, and please make sure you're subscribed to my videos. Hit the alarm bell if you like this kind of um, look at into the weeds, the getting into the details of these, these psychic mediums and how it appears to work. So, so all of you out there are going, okay, so he's hot reading. He's being hot read. Let's see the evidence, Susan. And you know, I show my work. Here we go. So then we go back over here and a little bit later, some of his friends were saying, I'm just curious, what did he say that made you think that they came through? And Wayne says, my mother's name, Joanne, our dog's name, Parker. My mother passed before my dad and they were separated and divorced and fell in love again. I had a hard time believing as I should not have been there. And my father knew that. What do you think we're going to find on his Facebook page? All right, so here's some of the posts she's made. Mom's gone seven years, but I can still hear you through laughing. The card game must be going your way. 11-11 was the magic time of your departure, and still to this day, I'm reminded of your presence. Not to forget the Cardinals are present too. Love and miss you, Mom. Okay, so these are things that are on his Facebook page from April. Now, his reading's in October. So it was, po it was posted on his Facebook page beforehand. There's his mother. Happily, heavily, 85th birthday to my dear mother, Joanne, and her last names. Every day that goes by, I'm reminded of your presence. It is those beautiful cardinals and numbers in row of three or four. 1111 is my favorite. Thank you for being my mother. There's Joanne. There's the cardinals. Um, oh, and here's another. So people are, he's saying, people are saying happy birthday. Your mom was such a sweet lady. I can still hear her soft voice and see her beautiful smile. Happy heavenly birthday, Joanne. So there's the name Joanne again. And here down here, happy, happy birthday, Joanne. Love, miss you. And then if we look up in here, we have uh, happy Father's Day to all the wonderful young men out there. And he's talking about his um, his father um, and so on, blah, 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 and his brother in Seattle. So there's so much content that people have on their Facebook page. Thomas John could have, I mean, he could have gone on for half an hour probably to this guy. And then this is in Joanne's obituary. 2016, I took out the funeral home. It's in, it's, I think it's in Minnesota. In 2000, she and Robert have rekindled their relationship and have been dating since. In other words, the, the mention that Thomas John said to Wayne was that they had been divorced and that they got back together again and that they were in a relationship again. Um, there it is right there on the obituary. That's exactly what happened. Oh, and Parker... You knew this is coming, didn't you? One year ago, we sent our first dog, Parker, over the Rainbow Bridge. Man, do I miss him. He trained the others in our pack to do some of his shenanigans. Yep, still present today. Love you, Parker. September. So September of 2023, right before he gets the reading from Thomas John. So it's nice and fresh right on the front of his, uh, his page. Not a problem, right? So let me just remind you of really quick of what he said when, that made him a believer. He's there. I'm a believer of spirits and cardinals are my signs in 1111. Thomas came to our table, spoke of my parents, our dog Parker, and said my mother's name is Joanne. So just reminding me, just found all that. It was really e easy. And then this other part here too. My mother, this is what convinced him. She says, what made you think they actually came through? My mother's name is Joanne. My dog's name is Parker. My mother passed before my dad. That's all in the obituary. They were separated and divorced and then fell in love again. That's also in the obituary. So all information that was right there on his Facebook page in the last year, 
easy to find simple. Okay. So when we find these kinds of things, a lot of times what we'll do is we'll reach out to the person. Now it's important to not make them feel silly or stupid about it because we want to be able to have good, honest conversations with people. We also want them to save face. So that's the easiest way to, to approach it. Like, so would you like to talk about what happened? That kind of thing. But I want them to, you know, when they make these posts in the moment, of course, they're caught up in that emotion. And so they are probably going to praise something that they wouldn't have praised if they had thought about it for a while. So when I reached out to him and I did, I'm trying to do it in a way where I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt that of course you figured this out already and here's the answer, but I'm trying to do it so that he has, like I say, he can save face and think about it. And here's what I said to the guy. So I reached out to him. I'm not friends with him on Facebook. Hey there, I see you had a reading with Thomas John. Now that you've had some time to process the reading, I'm sure you started to realize that he just read your Facebook post back to you, right? Okay. And then I posted again, everything is on your Facebook page, even the Cardinals. And I put a little screenshot of, of the Cardinals that he had posted in April of the same year. And what I'm trying to do is trying to hopefully get a conversation with him and for him to be able to save face. Um, of course, he may still continue to believe in psychics, but I want to show him that you're the person you thought was reading you. I mean, he said the reason why I think he's real is because he got my mom's name, the Cardinals, my parents having been divorced and fall back in love again, and Parker, the dog. It's all there. So I want him to be able to realize that he's being taken advantage of and somebody's preying on him. Think that's think that that would be a good citizen kind of thing. He he could continue believing in psychics, just not that particular psychic. He I want him to be on his guard. You know, I'm being a good citizen. Nope, don't work. So apparently Wayne blocked me. I know this because. I'm blocked. I can see him and his posts on Facebook still because I have more than one account, but the account that I use to contact him with is blocked. So he's just going to be one of those people, I guess, who's probably going to continue seeing Thomas John, possibly getting readings from him and join the throngs of other people who have had thrown money at him and then find out that he probably isn't going to end up doing a reading for him because he rarely does. He usually just um, ignores your requests. But that's a story that's already on over and over and over on my playlist of Thomas John. So anyway, this is the story of Wayne and Minnesota and Thomas John and how, yes, I probably come off pretty brisk and pretty pushy. That's just my way. And if he doesn't want to accept it, I mean, what can you do? So Wayne, you've been warned, you know, you want to continue to believe and you're not up for looking at your Facebook posts and saying, oh yeah, I didn't realize that. You could have come forward and said, yeah, you're absolutely right. I didn't realize that before. Thank you. I noticed that myself and, and yeah, I, I, I'm, yeah, I, I got it. I figured it out. I'm clever enough to have figured that out sad just sad anyway my work never ends here thank you for to my team of gorilla skeptics who do a lot of this research and find these things for me we're all over all over these different psychic mediums they have no idea who we are for some odd reason they have no idea who we are and we're just watching they haven't blocked us because they don't know to block us and we just constantly making screenshots and looking into it and take care all.